Yeah. And I'm going to pray. Everyone, we're going to stand, uh, we're going to have a moment of silence for one of our um, newly retired public, work, public works employee who is deceased. So please stand for a moment of silence. James Hubbard. His name is James Hubbard. Please pray for James and his family, please. and the time is 6.31. This meeting has been duly advertised in the city newspaper in conformance with the Open Public Meetings Act, otherwise known as the Sunshine Law. Roll call, please. Davenport. Present. Benalaro. Here. Pomona. Present. Correa. Present. Clay. Oglesby. Present. Thomas. Present. Six and ten. For the record, Mr. Barclay will not be here this evening. May I have approval for previous minutes? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Madam Clerk, agenda for you. First the agenda is Resolution 113, authorizing promotion of fire battalion chief Joseph Ritchie, Ritchie Jr. Council, any questions? <coughs> Say no. Resolution 114, authorizing promotion of fire captain to Anton Smith. Council Brown. 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 <coughs> Council, any questions? Want to get out of here already for us? Brown. Is he in here? Good, he's in here. Jerry, he's here. Oh, Cena. Ordinance number seven, second reading, public hearing held during regular session, amending chapter 116 and chapter 300 of the city code. Regulating the use of greenhouse structures for cannabis cultivation facilities. Council, any questions? Seeing none. Resolution ordinance number eight, first reading, amending chapter 278, article two of the city code entitled vehicles and traffic. Council, any questions? Seeing none. Resolution 115, providing for a budget insertion into the 2024 budget. Any questions, Council? Resolution 116, authorizing the participation of the State of New Jersey Federal Grant Program administered by the New Jersey Department of Law and Public Safety. Any questions, Council? Seeing none. Resolution 117, adopting and certifying and the, uh, the update and review of various sections of the personnel policy and procedure. Okay. Any questions, Question. Council? Council. Does this all employees include any of the contract employees? Non-contract employees. So this only affects our non-contract non employees? Correct. So hopefully we'll get this into the contracts of the others that we have for our non-contract Well, they don't get service pay, so it's not applicable to them. It's not applicable to our contract employees? Correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Seeing that? Resolution 118, granting approval of a Caribbean Carnival Festival on July the 20th at the Lakes Bay Marina. Any questions, Council? Just a comment, please. Yes. At the Community Relations uh, Committee meeting, there was a discussion of the parade um, in addition to the uh, festival. After we got notification from both uh, the police department regarding state and county requirements, there's a 30-day processing period for approval for that, so we were not um, within the time frame, so we were able to do the uh, uh, on county state roads. Um, Madam VA, yes. I know this um, application was in in March, so I'm trying to figure out what is the thing with the 30-day delay, because it was already in, it should have been approved, and I think it was because of the, the um, administration that this is not on time. So I just don't understand why this parade 
why don't we just give him another route? Because the man has put a lot of stuff into this, and I think the parade should be allowed. So I think that's something that maybe we need to have a discussion. Um, it's a matter of time, and we can have a discussion, but as it relates to that route, um, based on the requirements from the county and the state, the city has no jurisdiction over that, and we cannot do that. Um, if he wants another route, that's to be determined, and that's to do whatever you desire. But as for that route that's on this application, it, we don't have enough time to do that. Is this something new? Because this is something that I felt that should have been addressed in March when he put into that. Well, and now all of a sudden we're waiting to the last minute in order to do this. That process is not new. Um, and the applicant was told to call my office once the application was put in. I was told he went out of the country and called us. He was only out for three days. I, yeah, I'm but, just saying he was out for well, three days. I, I know he's coming. He'll be here tonight. Yeah, I think we need to have that. Can he's here. here. Can he's I here. Okay. My comment? Uh, yes. The applicant was supposed to communicate with my office. The applicant communicated with my office maybe a week or so prior to this making this agenda. We went through the process and we were made aware that because of the route, which is again a 30 day requirement by the state and county, you can't do anything about that. If you want to talk about a city route, again, you can't talk about that at this meeting, but you certainly welcome to have it at a committee level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so I'm told you just said it. 26. 20. Another 20. Question, was that offered uh, to him, the city route? Well, he's, he's here now. now. I don't know whether we want to ask some questions now. No, no, we don't. Um, okay. And I would yield from that and can have a discussion offline with the police department because you guys nor I can determine that. My own question was the city route offered when he was denied the route. You want to the calendar? I didn't speak with him. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know what the city route would be, so that is a discussion. Well, from being in committee, I believe that the route came from um, our acting police chief, correct? Which was okay at yeah. that time. I, I don't believe that we made up the route or the police department made up the route. I think the route recommendation may have been from the applicant and the chief looked at that and then as she submitted that information to the traffic coordinator, they advised that there were other jurisdictions involved and that's when we got the information back to the applicant. Okay. So I guess we have another meeting. Here. We need to have Resolution 119, grant approval of the annual Atlantic City Triathlon event through the city on August the 3rd. Any questions? Seeing none. Resolution 120, grant approval of a National Health Center Week Festival and Health Fair on August the 9th. Council, any questions? Seeing none. Resolution 121, grant approval of a health fair and back to school event on August the 20th. Any questions, Council? Seeing none. Resolution 122, grant approval to Cross Road Fellowship for a community outreach on August the 24th. Any questions, Council? Seeing none. Resolution 123, grant approval of a Latin Music Festival on August the 24th. Any questions? Seeing none. Resolution 124, grant approval of a community shredding event on September the 21st. Any questions, Council? Seeing none. That's his review of the builders. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. First, we'll go over the bill that we're paid to the next council meeting. This council meeting, uh, that will be on page one of check register by check date. Um, you'll see at the bottom of the page there was a, a small payment made for um, Green Acre uh, note and then payroll as of last Friday. <coughs> You'll see something on top of page one where it says uh, Green Lake Pets Millstone. This was money from uh, the forfeiture account that we get approved. We, I guess sometimes when they bust the bad guys, we, they, the money goes to the county, we, we get some of it, and we need approval from them to spend it, and we're buying a canine dog. 
of the member that council meeting we retired echo this is a new canine dog now we're looking for bill two to be approved at this meeting go down to page one near the bottom this is cherry valley tractor sales <coughs> this is part of an insurance uh, settlement that we received for some damaged equipment we'll be just buying the new equipment we go to page two um, halfway down the bottom, Bowman and Company payments. Uh, as you know, we uh, refinance some of our short-term notes and long-term. This was a cost for Bowman to, ass to assist us as well as bond, uh, bond council with that. Uh, page three. I'm sorry. Can you just repeat that, please? Yeah. Um, when we do a bond sale, there's a lot of information that the auditors have to provide to bond council as well as our financial advisor, things to the bond council. So this was their cost for providing information to uh, the bond council. This is, it came out of, the, out of the proceeds from the bonds of Roy, there's nothing as far in the budget. It is just, it's coming from another source. Uh, page three, you see Martin appraisals. They did a four-blown appraisal for the shopping center. There, that's, that's been under appeal for a couple years. <clears throat> and then, um, court requested a full-blown uh, appraisal of the property. Page has the appraisal been done or has the appraisal it has been done? It has been done and turned into the courts. Okay. Uh, if you go over to page five, uh, you'll see the monthly payment to the federal school board for uh, tax collection on, on their behalf. The one right below that, Pyrotechno, that is for the fireworks display that will be uh, Elston Marina on Friday. And you'll see something now, Leonardo, U.S. Cybersecurity. Uh, this is cameras and things for, for the police department, well, the three year warranty to cover all that information, all that equipment. Uh, we jump over to page six. Halfway down is the Second quarter payment for shared services with EST for both IT as well as dispatch. And I believe that's all that are unusual or extraordinary uh, bills of asking for me. Everything else is our normal operating uh, bills that we need to run the city. Any questions on any of these? Yes, can you go back to page three? The 27000 for fire and safety services. Can you explain this? We have a fire chief here. Yeah. Good evening, Council. <coughs> this Good bill, uh, these bills, line item on the normal front? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Good evening. So, uh, we're going to start with the emergency work on engine one. This was emergency work down on our vehicle because it broke down, shut down on us. We needed emergency services to get it back up and running. Uh, respond. Uh, the second item service work on the apparatus. This was unpaid bills that was from 2023 that we are uh, made current as of this approval. And uh, the next three items are, are going to be our yearly preventative maintenance on all of our vehicles. Uh, we're currently getting uh, Tower 7 done right now. It's taking them about four days to go through everything so that they can pick out any, anything ahead of time before it gets to them. Rural bad area, and then we're going to spend a lot more money. Yes. Yes, I have a little question. Go ahead. Mr. Booty, can you please, um, I think Robert Township, you said 144000 that is for the second quarter? Correct. All right. It, it, uh, IT is like $52,000 a year, mm -hmm. and so I mean, the, the dispatch is like 450, which um, when we had our dispatch here, it was more than that a year because of the medical benefits we paid and the equipment we had to purchase, overtime we had to take care of. So we, we've been going on four or five years now with EXT, and over those years we have saved money. Just like with the IT, um, we had someone before we went to, to uh, Egg Harbor Township. It was probably closer to sixty-five to seventy-five thousand dollars a year. This is fifty-two thousand a year, and whenever we have problems, they're right on. 
Ms. Rudy, this is not directed to you, but there is a bill on here on page six for a thousand dollars. Shop local, buy local. That's what I have to say about this bill. Because there's no reason for that to be out of this community. Uh, the one for a thousand dollars? Yes. That would that food truck that without that was being paid by NP uh, uh, funds? Shop local, buy local. And it's not directed to you. Okay. It's not direct. It is directed to all of us that live in this community to shop local and buy local. Okay. Thank you. And like I said, it's not for you. Question. Yes. Yes. For an uh, action uniform, one thousand and ninety-seven dollars for an officer, and a police uniform, sixteen thousand. $670,000. Uh, Mr. Oldenby, what page are we on? Yeah. First page. So that's the cost of the uniform probably for six uh, or more police officers. Uh, everything from equipment that has to do with when you go to the academy to uniform, dress uniform, work uniform, boots, the whole I understand that. What I'm asking is this bill taken care of that we were acting in a point for the We're asking to be paid, yeah. And this is a new bill, correct? New bill? Yep. It's for the, the last, um, the group that's in the, that was in the academy. We just had the one name, so I was wondering why it was 16,000. Okay, I understand that. I didn't see it how it worked. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Council, anything else? Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Mayor, any comments? Council, any comments? May I have a motion to close the, the work session? Second. All in favor? Aye. <coughs> Everyone. This is the City of Pleasantville City Council meeting. Today is July 15, 2024, and the time is 648. This meeting has been duly advertised in the city newspaper in performance with the Open Public Meetings Act, <coughs> otherwise known as the Sunshine Law. Please stand for invocation and flag salute. Our Father. He was our construction code official, and we did an accommodation for him, and even though he's not here, I'd like to read it. Office of Mayor, City of Pleasantville, accommodation. Whereas Kevin Kane joined the City of Police as a construction code official on June 12, 20, excuse me, 2000. And whereas Kevin Kane performed in several roles through his tenure, including building inspector, zoning official, building subcode official, code enforcement official, 
and F flood plan management. Whereas Kevin Kane was recognized in 2009 as being responsible for the city's implementation of the rental registration regulation ordinance, <laughs> holding owners accountable for the upkeep of their properties while making properties safer and free of any health concerns. And now therefore I, Judy M. Ward, Mayor in the City of Pleasantville, on behalf of the City Council, this administration, and the citizens of Pleasantville, do commend Kevin Kane on retiring after 25 years of service in the building construction and pray that his next chapter will be filled with peace <coughs> and happiness. And witness whereof, I have set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Pleasantville to be affixed on this 15th day of July in the year of our Lord, 2024. Signed, Judy M. Ward. I wish to have you to come cut the grass, but you have not sent me anything. Nothing. And the lot looks a hot mess. Okay? I have pictures. I should have printed them so y'all could have them. But it looks a hot mess. Come on. Y'all voted on something. Why do I have to come back? Why am I here concerning that same simple issue? Your solicitor has the information, uh, council, okay. so you all need to, uh, whoever's committee that is, you need to certainly follow up because that information is given to the solicitor at the time of the approval. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. we, we did approve it, so we give it to the solicitor. Ms. Williams, I'll reach out to the solicitor. Okay. And then I'll give you a call. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I've been looking forward to it. Ms. Williams, can I ask you a question? Sure. What is the issue with the problem? What is it? It looks a mess. Okay. You know, mine's, mine's is just grease. But you got the tree, the tree that's broken, it's got some branches that's down on the back. Okay. And I told you I was thinking about a fence because they're walking across my property and going down what's wall. Okay. So it looks like it looks like that's my sister right here. She's coming down that streets real soon. She can look at it across from her new home whenever she Decides to come to move in. Oh, yes. It's an issue. I've been there for 24 years. And all, whatever you're going to do, you're going to give it to me. Let me go and do it. You're going to dig it up, clean it up. It was like, okay, we'll clean it up if they tell us to. But y'all not going to tell them to clean up. So whatever y'all going to do, come on and do it so that I can do whatever I need to do. Because I'm not going to put myself out there and y'all don't reimburse me. I did that for 20 years. Okay? Thank you so much. Yes. Anyone else would like to speak for public portion? Thank you, uh, Madam President. Augustus Harlan, 300 South Chester Avenue, the Bridge City President. Uh, Madam President, uh, some outstanding things happened in our community this week. Uh, let me start with uh, Friday. On Friday, it sunshine, it rained, it flooded, and I observed. Uh, our public works come in, taking three plates, and the water diminished. And, and the reason I'm so excited because it rained so much that cars couldn't drive through. I'm, I'm speaking of uh, down the waterfront. And in the evening, the sun was shining. 
But my point is that those two gentlemen came and remedied that problem, and I had planned to go to Public Works today and talk to Mr. James Hubbard and commend him about his men. And I got a telephone for a call from Fort Bragg, North Carolina, that knocked me off my feet. Uh, my good old student is gone. And thank you for the solid moments. I had asked uh, some of my friends to come and cheer. Uh, uh, Bishop uh, Miller and his first lady, and Mr. Allen Maddox, I said, come to City Hall and just to share uh, in the South moments, and you took care of that. Secondly, we had an incident, and uh, I called, I had to call the police department. Would you believe a policeman was there in two and a half minutes? Uh, the good things we don't read about, you want to make front page, kill somebody and make front page. So I love my community, I'm going to bring you news. You might say I'm losing it or whatever. But they were there, and guess what? The person who's in charge of our police department arrived also. Mr. Oversby, I commend you for your presence and solving that matter with your three police officers. That is noteworthy. I don't care what anyone said. Thirdly, most is a uh, huge fire in the city, and I know our police department was there as backup, and that you take that role to, I commend our police department. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. 
That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of New Jersey. Of the state of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And the government established. And the government established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. And partially. And partially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of the office. All the duties of the office. Fire Battalion Chief. Of Fire Battalion Chief. For the city of Pleasantville. For the city of Pleasantville. <laughs> According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Then I'll be God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> on a daily basis that keeps the three of us alive. Um, um, my uh, eldest here, Spencer, and our newest, uh, as a, a year old, as of the 1st of July, Sawyer. Um, th this is uh, this is bittersweet for me right now. I don't want to digress too much, but this week has a lot of meaning to me. Um, today, 21 years ago, my grandmother passed away, who with my grandfather planted their seeds in this town in 1949 on Tremont Avenue, uh, from where my father was raised, born and raised, and this Friday will mark the two-year anniversary of my father passing away. So uh, this week, today, um, just this ceremony is very bittersweet to myself and my family. So I thank you, council, mayor, everybody sitting up there. Thank you. There's some of you in here that have known me since I was this big. I'm not giving age away, Barry. Um, uh, Council Davenport, I know you've known my family for such a long time. Councilman Noel was big. So, thank you again. Okay. Thank you and congratulations. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of New Jersey. Of the state of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith. I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And the government established. The government established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. And partially. And partially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of the office of. All the duties of the office of. Fire captain. <laughs> <laughs>
coming out tonight. Um, thanks to the council for approving <laughs> this on the agenda. I do appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Moore, for being the uh, narrative for this uh, occasion. Uh, thank you that, that came out today uh, from near, from far. Um, this has been a 25-year process uh, in the making. I uh, never thought I would be in this uh, position to become a, an officer. That was never my ambition. But through the years of coming up the ranks and seeing people that came for me that, that laid the, the pavement down for me, I really had no choice but to continue uh, what, was, what was told I should be doing. Uh, yes. I, I love my job with passion. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody can finally know how passionate I'm about what I do. Um, I, I, I get under people's skin because I really care about the skin that y'all under. Uh, and, and, and just, just being here today, um, For those who don't know, uh, this is my mother, Esther Brown. Uh, she was here uh, when I got sworn in. She owned the Bible when I got sworn in 25 years ago. And about three months ago, she was told that she was going to be hospice and wouldn't last for three weeks to, to live. And she's here today, three months later. Everybody know who they are, but just point out a few people. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the guys from Camden that came down for me. Y'all got me through to where I'm at now as far as in, in the union perspective. Y'all held me down. Y'all got me to a point where you know, Pleasantville is a place in the, in the state, period. Um, the guys at the firehouse, y'all know how to do it now to get down. Um, it's, it's a lot of y'all that got me to where I'm at this place today. From the newest recruit to the most senior person in the building has had some kind of impact on me. Being where I'm at uh, right now today. Um, all my all my firehouse friends that, that retired, the OGs, <laughs> triple OGs, everybody. I mean, it, it was really y'all that actually got me to this point. Y'all believe in me, but I didn't believe in myself. I went through a lot in the past 25 years on a personal level that y'all held me down. Y'all held me down to a point where I'm standing here today. And I, I can't do nothing but appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for all that. Um, my family, my mother, my sister Simone, my son Corey, my son Boogie, call him Boogie. <laughs> my son Javon, um, they are my everything. My everything. And my daughter, she's not here right now, she, she's in, in Georgia enjoying life. <laughs> but she come here right now, but um, she she's part of this, this organization that I have right here that, that actually made me uh, the person I am today. And my family that came in from North, there you go. Here we go. We love you. Congratulations. Thank y'all know what it is. And y'all know that I'm, I'm always trying to be the best um, family member y'all can have someone to look up to. I try to pull that standard for everybody. So I want to say thank y'all for being my support from, from the time I was little to, to, to now. And um, you know, to my, my girlfriend Jasmine, I like to say, and that I'd like to say thank everybody for coming out tonight, those who stayed just to stay, those who came for me, those who came for uh, Tachi Richie. Um, thank you for your support throughout the years, and thank you for being a mentor in, in the Spectrum of Europe, and we're going to work well together, and as we always have, and we always will. And again, thank everybody for the rounds that you to have. All right. All right.
Today, uh, Battalion Chief John Quigley in, in the back. Wow. Uh, 25, I mean, 30, almost 40 years of dedicated service. <laughs> Battalion Chief Neil Locke, everybody knows uh, Coach Locke. Yes. From the yeah, Neil. Uh, Firefighter Dale Manning. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, Firefighter Wayne Page right here. And we also have Captain uh, Captain Freeman that came out to support as well. Thank you, guys.
on the um, agenda is ordinance number seven. Second reading, public hearing required. Amending chapter 116 and chapter 300 of the city code regulating the use of greenhouse structures for cannabis cultivation. So, motion. Second. Does, it care? Does anyone want to speak on the topic hearing for ordinance number seven? Seeing no one. May I have a motion to close public hearing? Motion. Public hearing. Second. Roll call. Motion. Motion for roll call. Motion. Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Amalara? Yes. Kimona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oldesby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Ordinance adopted. Ordinance number eight, first reading, amending chapter 278 or article two of the city code entitled vehicles and traffic. May I have a motion? Motion. May I have a second? with the State of New Jersey Federal Grant Program and administered by the New Jersey Department of Law and Public Safety. Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Demolara? Yes. Pomona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oglesby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Resolution 117, adopting and certifying the update and review of various sections of the personnel policies and procedures. May I have a motion? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Femilara? Yes. Pomona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Resolution 118, granting approval of a Caribbean Carnival Festival on July the 20th. May I have a motion? Motion. motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Femilara? Yes. Pomona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Resolution 119, granting approval for the annual Atlantic City Triathlon event through the city on August 3rd. May I have a motion? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Primalara? Yes. Pomona? <clears throat> yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Resolution 120, grant approval of a National Health Center Week Festival and Health Fair on August the 9th. May I have a motion? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. <clears throat> Davenport? Yes. Amalara? Yes. Pomona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Resolution 121, grant approval of a health fair and back to school event on August the 20th. May I have a motion? Motion. Second. <clears throat> Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Semilara? Yes. Pomona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Resolution 122, grant approval to Cross Road Fellowship for Community Outreach on August the 24th. May I have a motion? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Femilara? Yes. Pomona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Resolution 123, grant approval of a Latin music festival on August the 24th. May I have a motion? Motion. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Femilara? Yes. Pomona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Resolution 124, grant approval of a community shredding event on August the 21st. May I have a motion? Motion. Second. May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Samalara? Yes. Simona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Resolution approved. Next, I need a motion to approve the bill list. Motion. 
May I have a second? Second. Roll call. Davenport? Yes. Semilaro? Yes. Pomona? Yes. Korea? Yes. Oversby? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Motion approved. Next to Mayor Thomas. Mayor, do you have anything? Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I'd just like, again, to just, um, reiterate to keep the Hubbard family in your prayers. That's just, I haven't gotten over it yet. I mean, it's, I mean, I, it just seems surreal. You know, he just, he's, he was here a couple of months ago, you know, just getting accommodation for us, and now he's gone, you know, after he times so short. So please just keep the family in your prayers. And also, I'd like to remind everyone of um, June when you mentioned fireworks. Okay. To come out and support the uh, different events that we have. Have a good evening. Counselor? Fireworks. <laughs> I will be there. Um, and I would like to express my condolences to the Hubbard family, um, to everybody else. Life is precious and life is short, and you never know when it's your time. Mr. Hubbard was here six weeks ago and retired and had a future ahead of him. So nobody knows what's going to happen. And I just love Jimmy. Jimmy just couldn't do enough for everybody. He was always there when everybody needed him. And we just really need to, to think about Jimmy every day and how precious life is. Thank you. I will. So the fireworks are July 19th, the first one, and they are at 9 o'clock. And they were down at the marina um, on the bed. And they're going to be out on a barge, so they're going to be. I mean, like, these are professional fireworks. These aren't just, like, kids setting them off. These are professionals who mm -hmm. know what they're doing. And, uh, I mean, that's the best area. That marina district is the best area for fireworks. It's going to be lovely down there. So go out and enjoy. And take all the advantages of what Blessingville has to offer everybody. Oh, uh, yes, thanks. Um, first of all, I want to say congratulations to um, Italian Chief Richie and also to um, Chief Brown, uh, Captain Brown. Um, I'll tell you, I've watched that young man do so much work over the years that I've been here before that when I was on the school board watching down to Washington Avenue doing so much work with our children and with our community. So I don't, I don't know whether there's anyone else that's more deserving than he is of the um, promotion that he's got. Um, with that being said, with um, Councilman uh, Fumalaro saying about us sticking together and doing things in the correct way, or, you know, time is short. You know, it comes a time when we have to stop getting over the personal stuff and start acting professionally and doing things in the correct manner. It seems like some things are personal around here. And with this here parade that's being done, it's been so much pushback. And then to watch all of a sudden for us to come up with something from the county saying that we can't have a parade down our own streets. It seems a little childish and petty to me. And this man has been in this city for well over five years. And it doesn't cost us anything. He pays for everything that he asks for. And I think it's time that we get over the pettiness that happens around here. Um, I'm hoping that we sit down with him and make sure that we put this route together so that he can have the parade that he's put his money out for and his time into, his advertisement and all of that us to come up with something at the last minute to stop a parade, it just seems like we work against ourselves here in the city because of our personal agenda, and I think it needs to stop. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to add um, to the five work conversation, just remember to bring your lawn chair in case you want to have a, a seat. And we will have food trucks out there as well. So bring the perks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So there's another date that um, I'm asking if you need the 19th, Friday. Another date um, to put on your calendar is Tuesday, August the 6th, 2024. 
It's our national night out. It's from 5 to 8. It's on Tilton and Langston Avenue. So just put that date What's that date you're going to be in? August the 6th. August the 6th. Yeah. And congratulations to the two um, fire promotions. And you all have a great night and hope to see you on Friday night. Hey, Dan, I just want to thank you all, City Pleasant Mill, for the great I'm job. Sorry, you know, what's your name? Bishop Mallory Mill. Okay. For the awesome job I did on uh, the Motor Day. I think that game was to clean the streets. Mm -hmm. I walked outside, I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. And also, I thank God for uh, 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 Brother Tony uh, Davenport, how he was uh, so helpful with getting our sign for our church. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I took him to Mary and he pushed that through. So I thank God. And, uh, keep with the good work. Thank you. God bless you all. Take care. Pleasant evening, guys. Pleasant evening, Mayor, Honorable Mayor. Ms. Payton, thank you. Ms. King, thank you for your help. Uh, Councilman, um, I stand here with, with, without words. I stand here disappointed. I stand here dismay. I, I just don't understand what I have done personally, and if I have done anything personally, I apologize in front of all of you. In 2016, I came here by invitation to meet Mayor Tweed. I introduced myself and I said to him that I do a Caribbean carnival and he's fully supported, the administration supported, and that year they paid for everything. And I delivered, I deliv uh, I delivered a festival in Pleasantville that was never done before from the Red Cross all the way to the, to the old school, to the high school. I made a mistake. My, my committee voted against me to go back to Atlantic City because they said the name was Atlantic City Carnival. And I was against it, but I have to go with my committee. I went and I realized I made a mistake. I came back and I apologized to Mayor Tweed at the time and I said, I am very sorry for the mistake that I've made. I've given you a commitment and I should have sticked with it. I live in Philadelphia, but I love Pleasantville. Pleasantville reminds me of home. It reminds me of the town that I came from. And I tried to purchase a property um, by Bayview, that little area, and it did not work out where the old uh, city hall used to be. So I know Pleasantville. I've been here for nine years. I have never asked this city for one dollar. I have never said, give me your service. Give me your police officers. I have paid for everything for all those years. Have I fallen? Yes, I have fallen. But I bring people to this city. I bring people from New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Virginia, all over. Today, people flying from the US Virgin Islands. Because five months ago, I've been promoting this city. And I've been saying, you need to see Pleasantville. You need to see the streets of Pleasantville. And I got a phone call from an officer that said, oh, everything is fine. I, can, I turned, Ms. Payton humbly, I turned my application way ahead of time. And I leave the administration. I do my work. I come back and I follow up with a polite email. Can you tell me what's going on? Because this has happened to me several times. I have worked with my committee extremely hard. And at the very last minute, I'm sorry, we cannot have your parade. I'm very sorry, we cannot hold your booster event. That is, you know, I shake because it's 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 painful. It's it's hurt. It hurts because I have to gather all these people voluntarily to support me as a leader to bring something beautiful. The carnival is a very beautiful celebration. It's a celebration of people. It's not me, it's not, it doesn't have to do with it. The brand is bigger than me, and if you want to know or you want to see, go Google or look up Atlantic City Carnival. And for this weekend, we have 22,000 people that are interested. We sold out AX, AXC1. They asked me to come back to, to Atlantic City. They said, come on, on the boardwalk and go to it, but it doesn't represent home. Atlantic City does not represent my home. Pleasantville does. And someday, Mayor, I will be a citizen of Pleasantville. I promise you that. Because I believe in the city. And I want to bring something beautiful to this city. Everyone in this city that I talk to always say to me, oh my god, that is beautiful. You're bringing something beautiful. I paid $1,200 for the billboard 
across from Sam's Club without asking any for any cent. It's, it's up right now, you all can see it. But tell me something. How do I feel as you as well as you when you promise people as a leader, come, it's a celebration, everything is perfect. And to go back now and tell people, cancel your flights, <coughs> don't come, we don't have a parade, we have to go circle some building somewhere because I don't know what I did wrong. I just don't know what I have done. And if I have done anything here to any one of you, I sincerely apologize. But I really need you all to dig deep and, and look at the work that I have put into this for months. And when I walked into Mayor Tweed's office, I told him, all I want is a home. I want a home for my people. There are people that reside in this city that are from Trinidad and Tobago. They live in Pleasantville, and there are more people from Trinidad and Tobago that's going to live in this city. And I don't see any reason why we can't join our hands and make it something nice. But I'm confused because I was told with my application, I ask presenter out. You present it. If, there, if it is different, then bring it to my attention. I will probably say, okay, officer or city, tell me where we can go. <coughs> I was told on two weeks ago on Monday, I'm sorry, the park is not ready. I never asked for the park. I, was, uh, I, I said, okay, what else can I do? How about Bayview? Oh, we don't know about Bayview. Okay, how about the park in Tilden Avenue? Oh, that is by the scouts on Saturday and you absolutely can't have that. I am sorry, Anthony, we cannot host your event. But there is a hope something, I, I, I'm sorry I can't remember the name, but you could try them because they are private. So I am sitting there and I said, oh my God, look at all of this work that I have done without asking for anything but to be told from this city that I've been here for nine years, what have I done wrong? I need to know what have I done wrong, because if I've done something wrong, or I'm doing something wrong in your city, ma'am, please, I beg you, tell me so I could either fix it, or I could take the event to, to Atlantic City, which I really don't want to take it to Atlantic City. I really wholeheartedly would like to stay in Pleasantville. I really love this city and I cannot tell you it's been nine long years I am here and I have done one violation not one crime not one report not one citation so what have I done wrong so the, the final to make this final I to make this final I want to say I was called by a police officer and he said Anthony we can't go down Main Street. I said to him politely, no problem, officer. What can, I, what can you do? He said, we'll go down Washington. We'll turn on Franklin, and we'll get you there. And I said, OK, no problem. He says, we're going to need three detailed officers. I was told that no officers will not be available. But I said, but I pay for my detailed officers. I'm not taking the city's resources. I paid for the three, I, I called immediately and I got that all taken care of. Miss mm -hmm. King, I got a phone call from you, you needed the insurance policy. I have to pay for that as well. And I only have to present it to your office. Thank you, officer, for giving me the later board approval. It was approved today. So everything is in line. I just, I'm sitting and when I hear that, you can't have this. Parade. I'm like, but everything is here already. I've spent all my money. <clears throat> so please, I plead with you. If I have done anything wrong, I apologize. I would like to know. But in my knowing, if, if any one of you know of me and I've done something to offend the city, please let me know. Okay. With that being said, we appreciate your comment. Um, I just want to ask our business administrator and our chief of police, I want to see the... Um, you know, whatever it is that you're going by from the county that says that we can't have that parade. So hopefully tomorrow we'll have something in writing saying the reason why we cannot have that. I can because the council that. has voted on it already. I can and you guys gave stuff. him, you guys gave him that route. I gave him a suggested route and I right. gave it to our um, public relations bureau commander. She advised me that there were permits that had to be 
um, submitted 60 days prior for state roads and 30 days prior for county roads. Washington Avenue, Main Street, or county roads, and the Black Horse Plate is a state road. When you're talking about a grade, you're talking about detour routes for buses. We need de detour signs. When you're talking about a huge event, what he's talking about, saying 22,000 people are coming here, this isn't 10 people that are walking across the roadway. So you just said 22,000. I said, if you look at Facebook, you will see there is 22,000 following for ACX1. Okay. And that's right. Because the parade. I have one question. What is the county road that we're talking about? We're talking about if you're coming down Washington Avenue and you cross the Main Street going to Franklin Boulevard, is that it? Or you want to go that way? Mr. Logan, are you available tomorrow to attend a, a committee meeting? I will have to make myself available, ma'am. Okay. I have no other choice because Saturday is the parade. Okay. So the business administrator will get in contact with you for a time. Sure. Okay. Perfect. Thank you all very Thank much. You're welcome. Thank you. Don't forget the deal. Contact the after January 1, you can do that. Okay. Motion. 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 Okay, it is, it is, it is, it is all is everything. Okay, now if you guys can block the street up for a bike tournament, you can definitely give this man what he wants, and it brings in more money than that bike tournament. And that revenue that it brings in with his people and his stands and everyone that comes out. Okay, there's pop-up shops and everything, the food, everything. Okay, trust me, cousins don't need that money. We hear you. Thank 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 you.